This video is sponsored by Paperlike. Paperlike isn't just a matte style screen protector, though it does help reduce fingerprints and smudges while minimizing glares from harsh lighting. However, the smooth yet gritty texture of the Paperlike screen protector makes for a perfect surface for writing. The way the Apple Pencil glides on Paperlike improves accuracy when drawing lines, shapes, and fine details. Paperlike features nano dots on the surface that reduce wear on the Apple Pencil as well as diffuse light. All of these things make Paperlike the perfect accessory for students, artists, and graphic designers. If you're interested in learning more about Paperlike, including how to pick one up for yourself, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Somebody recently asked me to demonstrate a cross-platform ecosystem. In specific, they wanted me to show how a Windows PC, an iPad, and an Android phone can all work seamlessly together. So in this video, we're gonna be doing just that. We're gonna be using the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3, and an iPad Pro. Thanks to Samsung and Microsoft's partnership, the integration between Windows and Galaxy is actually quite nice. Uh, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has a feature on board called Link to Windows, and it works great. Before showing you all of the capabilities, let me first show you how to set it up. The first thing we need to do is go inside of our quick toggles. We're gonna look for a link to Windows. It's right here. Just tap on the words link to Windows, tap on details, and then Right here under Microsoft account, you're gonna tap and then you're gonna sign in to your Microsoft account. Tap on link your phone to PC. So we're gonna tap continue. And then we need to go to this website right here on our PC. It might take a few minutes for the linking to actually complete, but once it's completely finished, you're gonna be brought to this screen and it's gonna say that your Android phone is offline. Now, if you go back over to your Galaxy Note 20, you're gonna see that you received a notification to allow the phone to connect to the desktop. So we're gonna go ahead and accept that and allow it. Now, if we go back to our Windows PC, you can see everything is now officially complete. We can pin the Your Phone app to our taskbar. So we'll hit Get Started. Once connected, you can place phone calls from your Windows PC and send text messages. Best of all, if you're using Samsung Messages as your default SMS client, Windows now supports RCS when sending messages. You can also browse your gallery and transfer images to and from your Note 20 Ultra while on your Windows PC. You can also copy text on the Windows PC and have it appear in your clipboard on your Note 20 Ultra, which is quite nice. All of these things are pretty awesome, right? Well, there's one more thing that you can do with Link to Windows that really takes things to the next level. You can run apps that are on your phone right from your Windows PC. For example, if you have AirMessage set up to run on your Mac home server, you can send and respond to iMessages directly on your Windows PC. I can cover this in more detail in a separate video, so if you're interested in learning how I use iMessage on Android and now on Windows, let me know and I'll bust out a video. There's nothing wrong with handling text the way I just showed you, but unfortunately, there's no way to get Samsung Messages to work with the iPad. However, I have a fix for you if you're willing to use a third-party SMS client. What you need to do is download Android Messages on your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Make sure that when you set it up, it's now your default SMS client. Now on your iPad, using the Safari internet browser, go to the Android Messages website. I'll be sure to drop the link in the description so you don't have to hunt it down. You should be taken to a website that has a QR code. Now on your Note 20 Ultra, open up Android Messages, tap the three little dots in the top right corner, then go to Messages for Web. Now use the Note 20 Ultra to scan the QR code that's appearing on your iPad. Make sure to trust the computer or device so that way you don't have to do this over and over again. You should see all of your messages from your notes now on your iPad. Since this is a web-based app, you'll need to have an internet connection in order to use it, which shouldn't be too big of a deal since the Note 20 Ultra and most carriers do support mobile hotspots. Of course, if your iPad is an LTE model, this will make things even easier and much faster. Now we need to clean it up and make it easier to open like it was a regular app. What you need to do is tap the share button in Safari, scroll all the way down until you see add to home screen and tap that. Type in the name that you would like the app to be titled and then tap add. Now just add the icon to your dock and now you can quickly launch Android messages. I covered this in a previous video along with the ability to change the icon to whatever you would like. So make sure to click the video in the card above. What's great about Android messages is that as long as you're talking to someone else that's using Android messages, you get all of the benefits of RCS like Samsung messages. This includes things like chat bubbles, uh, high res photos and videos, plus a lot more. However, you'll need to make sure all of these things are enabled. 
So on your Note 20 Ultra, go into Android Messages and then tap the three little dots in the top right. Now tap on Settings, Chat Features, and make sure Enable Chat Features is turned on. Then head back over to your iPad, follow those same exact steps, and make sure it's turned on on there as well. All right, so we have the iPad taken care of when it comes to sending and receiving messages that are on your notes. But in the process, we lost the ability to do it on the Windows PC since we're no longer using Samsung messages. That's okay, there's a couple ways to fix this. The first and easiest way is to just launch the Android Messages app using the link to Windows feature. While this may be the easiest way, it's not necessarily the best since your phone's display does need to stay turned on in order to use it. The second way is to open up the Microsoft Edge browser and visit the Android Messages website. Scan the QR code, trust the computer, and make sure your text messages are now appearing on your Windows PC. While you're inside the Edge browser, go to the top right-hand corner and click the three little dots. Scroll down until you see Apps, then click on Install Site as App. This should bring up a separate window with Android Messages that looks much more like an actual app versus a website. Now, go down to your taskbar where the Android Messages icon is, right-click and pin to taskbar. Now you have the ability to send and receive messages on all three devices while retaining all of the benefits of RCS. This makes it truly like an Android version of iMessage. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, Android Messages now has Google Duo support so you can place video and voice calls from all three devices, but you will need to download the Google Duo app on the iPad. The next thing we need to figure out is how to wirelessly transfer files between each of these devices in a cohesive way on the fly. The easiest way is to simply use a cloud service like OneDrive, open up OneDrive on the device that has the files you need and place them inside the OneDrive folder or app, give them time to upload, then launch OneDrive on the other device to copy them over. Simple stuff, but could be a little inconvenient if you don't have an internet connection. So what I recommend is downloading Send Anywhere, create an account, and log into that account on all three devices. Send Anywhere works just like AirDrop when it comes to wireless file share. It's a free app and it does have ads, but they're really not too bad. Let me give you a quick example of how it works. All right, so first I'm going to wirelessly send a file from my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra to my Windows PC. So let's go ahead and get into Send Anywhere on the Note 20 Ultra. And we're gonna go under Photos, and I'm just going to pick a series of photos, and we will send them. All right, so I have five photos selected. I'm going to tap Send. And right here you can see it's located the Windows computer. And now it's sending. Now on my Windows PC, I'm going to go to History, and then it should automatically start downloading, which it is. If it doesn't for some reason, you can just tap on the three little dots and then you can download them manually. All right, so it looks like everything is now done. We're going to go ahead and open up the folder that contains these images and boom, there they are. So that's how you can wirelessly send files from your Note 20 Ultra to your Windows PC. Now, let's send these same files over to my iPad. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and go back into Send Anywhere, and we're gonna tap on Transfer, and now we're gonna tap on the plus button right under the Send area. So hit the plus button, and now we're going to go to Downloads, and we're going to select these same images, tap Open. Now it's going to load them up inside of Send Anywhere, and you can see it's picking up my iPad right here, so we're gonna tap on iPad. And now over on the iPad, we're gonna go under History and then tap Receive. And now it's receiving those files just like that. Basically, it's downloading them to my iPad now. So give it a minute to download. Looks like everything is finished. So now we're gonna go ahead and open them up. And boom, there they are. There's one, two, three, four, and five, easy as pie. And like I said, it does have ads, but they're really not too intrusive and they're not like overbearing by any means. If you're looking to get the most out of your iPad and Windows PC connectivity, check out Screens and Duet. Screens will allow you to log into your Windows PC and take control using your iPad. You can even copy and paste text between PC and iPad 
easily thanks to the shared clipboard feature. It does cost 20 bucks in the iOS app store, but it could be well worth it depending on your needs. The Windows counterpart is free. Just head over to the screen's website, which is linked below, and download Screens Connect for Windows. Once installed, you're good to go. Next up is Duet, which is a free app if you just want to use your iPad as a tethered secondary display. It works pretty good considering it's a free app, but if you want more features and better quality, you could step up to one of their plans. They start at $19.99 a year for wireless supports and better pixel rendering, or you can go all the way with the $29.99 a year plan for many more features, including pressure and tilt sensitivity for Apple Pencil support. It's worth checking out if you're interested in using your iPad as a drawing tablet on your PC. Uh, Luna Display, in my opinion, provides a better overall experience, but unfortunately, it's not available just yet on Windows. However, it is in the works. It's also way more expensive, something that I just want to throw out there. I think for most people watching this video, Duet's going to be plenty. Plus, when you combine it with the paper-like screen protector, you can get an incredible experience for drawing inside of apps like Illustrator or working in Photoshop. That said, if you want a part two regarding continuity between productivity apps, browsers, passwords, and a lot more, uh, we can make that happen. I just need to know that that's something that you're interested in. For now, that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you were able to take something from it and it helped you create a cross-platform ecosystem for all of your devices. If you wanna see more videos just like this, let me know by leaving your ideas in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up Subscribe for more videos just like this, and I will see you amazing people in the next video.